To get started, you want to thread both your shortest cords onto your button and then you want to clip your button to the top of your board. Next, you want to arrange your cords in order. So you want two of the cords in the center and then one cord at either side. And next, you want to clip all the cords to the bottom of your board to keep them in place. So once you set up your board, it should look like this with one cord on the outside, two cords in the center, and then a single cord again on the other side. Next, you want to take your longest cord, match up the ends, and then run it through your fingers to find the center. And once you've got this center loop, you can attach this to the two cords in the center, ignoring the ones on either side. So holding the center point in place, you want to pull one strand out at one side and leave the other one out at the other side. And then you want to attach it doing the first half of a square knot, which can be a little bit tricky, but it does come eventually. So you want to take the first half over the top of the cords in the center and then the second half over the top of that and then not drop it like I've just done and then try again so going over the top of the two in the center and then over with the one on the right and then under and pull through and then you can tighten this and then you've got it attached to your cords so it lets it a little bit easier for the second half just working under and then under with the right hand side and then pull through and then you've done your first square knot and you can push this up against your button. So once you've pushed it up to the button you want to do regular square knots all the way down but unlike what you would normally do you're going to be only working over the ones in the center so you're taking the long cord on the left and threading it underneath the holding cord on the left and then on the right you want to take your longest working cord and run it underneath the work the holding cord on the right but then when you do your first square knot you're only going to be square knotting over the two cords in the center so you want to bring these cords over the top of the two on the outside but only work the knot over the two on the inside so just work in a regular square knot as you would normally do but just over the two center cords And then to complete the square knot, again, you're just going to be working over the two cords in the center. And you want to keep repeating this all the way down. So each time you've done a square knot, you want to take the cord on the left underneath the holding cord on the left. And you want to take the cord on the right underneath the holding cord on the right. And then again, you'll just do your square knot over the two cords in the center. And you want to repeat this all the way down until you've got the bracelet as long as you want it to be. Once you've got the bracelet as long as you want it, you can take the cords at the bottom of the board and put them all together. And then I'm just going to do a couple of square knots just to fasten these ends together. So this time I'm doing the square knot over all the cords. And next you can trim and seal the excess from your longest cords. So I'm going to use a lighter to seal here, but you could use glue if you prefer. Next, take your two outside cords from the shortest cords and you can trim and seal the excess for these as well. And finally, taking the two remaining cords, just tie these in a knot to hold everything in place. And then leave a little bit of a gap once you've done that. And then tie another knot to create your buttonhole. And before you tighten the knot too much, you just want to take your button and make sure it does fit through the buttonhole before you make it too tight.
And once you're happy that the button will fit through, you can trim and seal for the last time. And you should end up with something that looks like this. And that is your completed bracelet.